Hi, I'm Brian Gilbert. You might know me as Reality Loop on Drupal.org. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install the Drupal Community Tools, which you can get at Drupal.org slash tools, and I'm particularly going to be installing the Windows version, so tools. Uh, so if we click Windows, all you need to do is click on the link, which will download BitTorrent Sync if you don't have it. Um, if you do already have BitTorrent Sync, you need to make sure that you have the latest 1.4 beta or above. So this is going to prompt me to download and I'm going to run it directly. The BitTorrent Sync installer. And <clears throat> that's going to open up and I'm going to accept the license agreement and then go back to my browser and click on get the folder and allow Internet Explorer to talk to BitTorrent Sync and then I'm just going to select desktop for the sake of making it easy to find the icon and it will automatically add the community tools windows folder name to the end so once we click connect and OK this will go green initially and then it will start receiving the files and as this transfer progresses, you'll see a blue bar go around this light grey circle. If you hover over it, it will give you an idea of how fast it's going. Hopefully this will be relatively quick. And once the download finishes, it will the icon will change to a green tick. And there we go, the download is complete. So now I'm going to disconnect the share so that there's more slots available for other users in the future. You can always reconnect if you need to download it again. And then I'm going to quit BitTorrent Sync. Uh, we don't need this window open anymore, or this one. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my Community Tools folder and just run the install script. You can, you should read the instructions. Um, I'm going to run through all these steps, so I won't need to. It'll open a, uh, a batch script, and it's going to prompt us to install an IRC client called HexChat, a code editor called Sublime Text, install Git if you don't have it, um, and then configure Git, extract Drupal 8 core, which has been downloaded as a a zip as part of the download and then do a git pull to ensure you have the latest commits for core then run Acquia Dev Desktop Installer to install it and then once that's complete we'll have to do some manual steps to connect the site in Acquia Dev Desktop so press any key, do I want an IRC client? Yes I do so press Y and then hit enter and <coughs> then approve the UAC pop up and get a silent install of HexChat using the defaults Make sure so that's finished, and then we press any key to continue. Do we want a code editor? Yes, and we'll get a UAC again that we say yes to, and that's going to do a silent install of Sublime Text. And that's done. Git, yes, we definitely need Git. So again, a silent install. Okay, so we're done there. Press any, do we want to configure Git? Yes. So we enter, need to enter the username, which is normally just your name, and then the email address, probably what you use on Drupal.org. And now we're going to extract uh, Drupal 8 core and then do a git clone. So press any key to continue that. So just be aware, this install only works on Windows 7 and above. That's a limitation of Acquia Dev Desktop. And now it's going to do a git clone. And once that clone is complete, it will launch the Acquiative Desktop Installer as a silent install, which selects all the defaults. So we get the UAC for Acquiative Desktop, say yes. And then up will pop the installation window or progress indicator. Okay, so the installation's finished, so I can press any key. Yes, we've, we're good. 
so we, that will close that window. Now if we go to the start programs, we should have Acquia Dev Desktop, Sublime Text, and some hex chat here. And so I'm going to open Acquia Dev Desktop. And it's going to uh, throw up that it needs to be allowed for the firewall, so it's for Apache. And then I'm going to start with an existing Drupal site located on my computer. And then click change to browse to where the extracted Drupal 8 core is. So we want to allow access for MySQL. All right, so we want to go to this PC, local disk for me, and then user directory, Brian, which is my username, and then the sites directory. Inside Dev Desktop, there'll be a Drupal 8 directory. So it's your username's home directory, sites, Dev Desktop, and Drupal 8. So if we select that folder, I just take out these dashes to make things a little bit cleaner, and we need to ensure that PHP is set to 5.4 or above. Hopefully, this will get incorporated into Acquia Dev Desktop at some stage in the future. And then we go OK. And we can now click the link for local site, which will open in Internet Explorer or whatever your default browser is, and guide you through the actual site installation step of Drupal 8. So I'm not sure, I, I might need to close Internet Explorer and just reopen it again. for that site to be visible, yes. So that was just because the browser had cached the DNS entry from hosts and didn't hadn't updated it yet. So now we go save and continue in language of preference, standard install, uh, all of the defaults should be okay. okay here. You need to make sure the port number is set to 33067 the database password is blank in Acquidev Desktop and the username is just Drupal user. So save and continue. And now we can finish the config site configuration steps. So and I'm just going to use admin for everything as this is a local site. So no risks there. Set my country to Australia and then click save and continue. And shortly afterwards, we'll see the, the home page of our site as it stands at the moment in Drupal 8. And from there, you can start to have a look around and play with Drupal 8. So <clears throat> just a few things to be aware of with Acquia Dev Desktop. It needs to be running for you to be able to access the site in your browser. So don't close it. And if you want to um, get terminal, get a, open a terminal with access on your site, you can click this little icon here, and then you can see the into sites. Um, Windows backslash. Uh, so from here, you could do drush dl devel, for instance, to download the devel module, and that would theoretically download it. Looks like I'm having some network issues at the moment, but. I'm going to cancel that and just show you that Drush is available. Um, and that's a version of Drush that will work with Drupal 8. So that's it for today.